medium vessel occlusions are um, occlusions that are a little bit smaller than kind of the very large vessel occlusions that we're used to to see frequently and treat frequently. Um, and we currently, there, there are a few uncertainties. So one of them is um, how to detect them. And that's the topic of my debate because they're relatively hard to see. It's kind of a small little vessel that um, suddenly stops. Um, and the other um, also very interesting question is how to treat them. Because currently we don't have um, very high level evidence to suggest that um, endovascular treatment, meaning catheter-based um, removal of clots is kind of beneficial for, for these vessel occlusions. And um, that's currently investigated in several randomized trials. And it's kind of a chicken and egg problem. Um, if you can't detect them, then you can't treat them because you're not aware of them. So that's kind of why these two things are kind of tightly, yeah, tied together. Yeah, and kind of closely related. There are kind of um, different um, imaging techniques to, um, we call them advanced imaging techniques to um, kind of visualize the brain parenchyma a little bit better. And CT perfusion is one of them. It's probably the most widely used one where um, intravenous contrast is in and then the brain is scanned many, many times, um, 45 or even 50 or 60 times. And then those beautiful colored um, brain maps are generated. And medium vessel occlusions are really easy to detect on CT perfusion just because there's a wet-shaped red or orange defect. And that kind of is the area that's affected by the medium vessel occlusion. So they're really easy to find because they point directly towards the site of occlusion. But that being said, not every hospital has the possibility to perform CT perfusion. It requires kind of a special software, such special post-processing. And there are other imaging techniques that um, are also very well suited to detect medium vessel occlusions. One of them is multiphase CTA, for example, where it's kind of an abbreviated version of CT perfusion. So instead of 45 or 50 times, the brain is just scanned three times. Um, and then those three kind of maps are put next to each other. And um, the area where the vessels kind of fill later and wash out later, um, that's the area that's affected by the occlusion. And you can see um, it's not it's black and white, but you can see occlusions just as well on multiphase CTA. And then there's even the option to kind of overlay all three phases and generate maps that are um, similar to CT perfusion. They're a little bit more noisy because they're less data points than with CT perfusion, but it's good enough to detect vessel occlusions. And my argument would be, you don't need to have beautiful maps that look awesome. You just need them to be good enough um, to detect vessel occlusions. And I think we should kind of do imaging that's just good enough to answer our questions, but we shouldn't attempt to make it beautiful and perfect because time is brain. And um, we get to treat the patient faster if we kind of acquire only the images that are um, that are necessary and not, not more than that. We haven't paid much attention until recently to those occlusions because they were just treated um, with the intravenous thrombolysis with kind of drugs that um, dissolve the clot. Um, but now that we have those ongoing thrombectomy trials for medium vessel occlusions, um, people are starting to, to pay more attention. And I think um, that those trials will basically answer the question which imaging paradigm should be used. Some of them use CT perfusion, some of them use um, Multiphase CTA, some sites that in, in our trial, Escape Mevo, for instance, um, they only use single phase CTA. So that's another option, just a very, very basic imaging protocol. And I hope that by kind of pooling all those trials together um, in, a, in one or two years from now, we'll be able to find out um, which imaging paradigm is the best one. There is evidence to suggest now that um, either multiphase or CT perfusion um, kind of helped over and beyond single phase CTA um, to detect medium vessel occlusion. So some form of advanced imaging is is kind of beneficial, but which form is just enough and which one is better than the other is not, not sure at this point, I think. Yeah.